Singapore, like the rest of the world, is fighting a crisis like no other, beyond the coronavirus itself. One of the biggest threats we face is the threat of fake news, and this is especially so for a digital city, where misinformation can spread faster than a virus outbreak. In Singapore, decisive steps were taken. When battling misinformation, speed is key. In a first for the nation, Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong held three addresses in 30 days. He brought the whole of Singapore together with open and transparent appraisals of the country's situation. Through WhatsApp and Telegram news updates by Singapore's official government portal, gov.sg delivered real-time information into the hands of Singaporeans. But beyond providing up-to-date news, COVID-19-related information needed to be well-organized and easily accessible to the public. So portals were built, some in a day. From Space Out, that monitors crowd-level stats, to Mask Go Wear, that alerts the public on mask collection initiatives, and Flu Go Wear, that informs the public on healthcare access, which were made accessible 24-7. So how does Singapore use technology in the fight against fake news? We have been investing a lot in the capability building for the past four to five years. This includes areas like, for example, UX design, um, service, service design, for example, engineering, right, software, application development, security, so on and so forth. We are able to come up with a new portal, new setup um, faster than before. That would effectively be able to confine the potential negative impact of fake news. As a smart nation, Singapore innovated new ways and improved existing methods of gathering and disseminating information. A predictive monitoring platform was developed to provide insights into how the virus spreads so we can learn how to fight COVID-19 better. AI-powered applications were also created to better monitor safe distancing and its implementation. As economies reopen and people start going out of their homes, safe distancing becomes even more important, but even more challenging to ensure. So that's how the idea of safe distancing came about. AI to help businesses stay responsible. All these because of a simple but powerful truth. It will take more than a village to win this fight. It will take a people, a city, a country united. <laughs>